intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Star Trek Fleet Command fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the Delta Adversary event and that folder of events. So, there's a lot of questions going around right now, but sadly, communication is at a premium. And to get that premium, you need to buy more packs. But you probably don't want to do that because you're frustrated because there's not enough communication. So just follow my channel and we'll do it that way. And I do want to really reiterate a point because I've explained the Delta Adversary situation on Discord, but again, not everybody uses that. Really understand that if you hear me right now, you are welcome to message me on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, wherever. Send me a private message. I try to respond to literally everybody. And most people can confirm that I respond to everybody because y'all are important to me. So the first thing is this right here. If you did this last month, you're not going to see past this first one. All right. So the Delta adversary itself stops. Like you did it last month. You completed it. That pushed you to this month. And what they did is they re-ran it again this month to allow people who didn't do it to do it. Should it have applied and shown up? Maybe not. Should you have gotten a communication to explain that? Probably. But if that's neither here nor there. But that is how it is set up. And hopefully now that answers your question. But at the same time, there are events that have been running that you've not been getting. As in they've not been properly introducing themselves. They've not been appearing. For example, the Zeta right there. Now there are a couple of events that launched today and technically one last week. I want to go ahead and let you know that there are some issues with. We did put that in my Discord as well. I don't know how many people saw that. I did put out a post this morning going through all the stuff going on in the game and i try to you know keep y'all pretty well informed at least i think i do and in that we discussed what is going on right now with this which is simply that it's not popping up for everybody and if you are one of those people then just put in a ticket and i know you don't like the answer put in a ticket putting in a ticket gets annoying and it's like does this actually do anything but Having discussed this already with the overlords, and here's our post from Discord. By the way, join the Discord if you haven't already in the comment section down below. Uh, you can hopefully get it activated before it rolls off, but there are also problems with this one, so maybe we should discuss the problems before we get into that. So if you look at this, if you went to the offensive one, now there's two different versions of this one, obviously the diplomatic and the offensive one. The offensive one you definitely want to pay attention to, or you can end up like me, with negative points or you can end up like this guy with really negative points like wow and considering the point scoring does not allow you to really do a true catch-up mechanic you know uh 50 points is the most you can get for defeating a player basically if you mind anything you're screwed again i really don't have an issue with them testing this type of a layout i really don't if you want to be an offensive pvp player like me well, there's a drawback to mining during this style of event. And if you did diplomatic, maybe you went and got a mining variant and it works better. The point I'm making is, is communication, which happened to be really poorly rated last month, hopefully improves. We, we do hope that Scopely improves communication, hires more people, whatever it is that they've got to do. But because of that, you are having a lot of these issues. So what we did is I reached out to Live Ops and discussed this with them and uh, obviously nothing confirmed, but really pushing for them to just reward this out to players because this is a big unknown. And like for me, I got caught because when reset rolls around, I just naturally put miners out and try to get things in because you know what day it is. It is, if I remember, Mining Monday. Woo! And even though I don't really participate in Mining Monday as a leaderboard, I do like to do the SMSs to get the uncommons because I just spent a lot of uncommons trying to get Chakotay. <laughs> so busy weekend when the game was actually, you know, working. So, because of that, if one, you didn't get it, put in a ticket. That's number one. And two, really trying to talk to them about maybe just comping this entire event out. Or at least do something, because obviously, if you put yourself in a negative situation, I got the least of it. That's not bad. But I'm not going to go kill over 800 hostiles just to catch up. And then, what was it, 800 and... I, I need, like, what, 800? Yeah, 8,500 hostiles? Not 8,500. 850 hostiles that's a lot that's a lot and no thank you i'm not interested so we'll see if that ends up getting adjusted so there's your your top things for delta adversary hopefully that explains some of the issues number one if you don't see the event you need to put in a ticket there is a known issue 
But I've already confirmed with Live Ops that the client to server side connection is not working for everybody. So not everybody's getting the actual pop up and the actual event. So that sucks. And beyond that, make sure you pay attention to the scoring because if you're mining, you can end up with a ton of negative points. And that, again, I don't really have an issue when they test new ideas. You got to communicate that idea. And that's where the problem ends up being, I think. The most problem in this game is uh, communication is probably the biggest issue for a lot of things. Test things out. Try new things. Try new things is not a bad idea. In my opinion, of course. People can disagree, and if you do, comment down below. But I think that's perfectly okay. There is also something else that some of y'all been asking about. I want to make a quick note on in the event store. That, that tab's not working, so let me try it again. But uh, in the event store, you're going to notice these Nebula tokens and the Nebula Chase claim. If you're curious how this works, there are two different methods. Number one is, yes, there is a pack for sale that, look, we like to give them gripe for packs, and that's completely fine. But this is a lower price point pack, so kudos for that. It's a $20 pack to get one Nebula token. Now, if you chose to do that, you could spend it on what you just saw or the Armada directives and stuff, completely fine. But if you go into your officer's menu, hit your recruit button, you're going to find your Nebula Chase chest right here, which gives you one Aurora gem and one Nebula shield. If you claim these, you can then go over and go right back over here and decide what you want to invest into. So the reason this is important, it didn't even give me a thing. I, it Anyway, what it does do is allows you to get Syndicate XP for the currently ongoing Syndicate XP event, which I guess is nice. Free Syndicate XP is good. If you want more, well, then you can get more. But unless my brain's broken, it, it just told me that I was going to get both. And I didn't. But maybe my brain broke. Maybe my brain broke. It, it's happened before. I am a ginger. And I did shave my beard. And a lot of my intelligence was in the beard. The whole D&D &D thing. You wouldn't understand. So if you have any other questions, or you have any other problems going on in the game, well, drop them down below. I've obviously been spending a lot of time in Discord today. Had a better fleshed out video plan, but just too much going on. I think y'all need to know about. So today's video is about communication, which sucks. It doesn't really help people long term, but hopefully it helps y'all today and in the next 24 hour period. And as always, refer people to me so I can help them if they have individual questions. And that's really all I got. Live long and plunder. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next video where we'll be going over more stuff, I'm sure. Ah. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.